Sportsman's Adventures is presented by Yamaha and fueled by StarTron. Thank you for joining us on our flight from Miami to Guatemala. It's just a quick two and a half hour trip, so sit back and relax because it's going to be a crazy sportsman's adventure. Only a mama could love that mouth. Bringing home the snapper. Hey, look at that. Nestled along the Pacific coast of Guatemala, Casa Vieja Lodge offers an unparalleled experience for avid anglers. Visiting this esteemed lodge is like stepping into a slice of paradise, where the warm Guatemalan hospitality greets every guest upon arrival, ensuring a stay that's as comfortable as it is memorable. Renowned for its world-class sports fishing, Casa Vieja Lodge is the gateway to some of the most prolific billfish waters on the planet. And on this sportsman's adventures, Captain Rick brings Gregor Dornell from Starbright to show him all Casa Vieja Lodge has to offer. This includes the ever-expanding fleet of nine boats, like the Pica Mas. The Pica Mas joined the fleet in June 2023 and is guided by Captain Nicho and his mates Danny and Manuel. beautiful morning this is a typical morning in Guatemala you know you've got these nice calm mornings you really gets really really flat usually during oh, the middle of the day see him out there jumping and then in the afternoon you get a little bit of a sea breeze on so you get the wind going behind your back on the way home makes a nice ride going home well that was a beautiful first bite well Textbook, just like you said, coming in behind. Yep. One of the prettiest fish that swim. You know, it doesn't seem to matter when you first get here, but when you spend three days in Guatemala and you get, you're gonna catch anywhere between 12 and 50 fish a day, you know? You're gonna, that, that bruise will thank you. You're going to want to start favoring the bruise before it even gets started. I like that red line. Gives you good visibility, huh? Yeah, Berkeley, high vis orange against that blue, the captain can really see it. Keep coming, keep coming, Greg, right. keep coming. All right, now go to freeze pool and get ready to yep. feed it to him. Total freeze pool. All the way it. down, all the way it. down, all the way down. All right, drop it to him, drop it to him. One, two, three, four, five. Lock it up, don't do anything, just hold on. There you go. Got it? Yeah. yeah. All right. Good job. That Good job. Perfecto. <laughs> Good job. Gregor, is first time you're in Guatemala? First time in Guatemala. Wow. So this is the first time in Guatemala, first Guatemalan sailfish. That's awesome. What do you think of Casa Vieja Lodge? Oh my, it's gorgeous. It's pretty impressive. You come through the gates and this opens up into this beautiful, utopic place. It's like a Polynesian village. I mean, it really feels Pacific when you're there. Yep, yep. All right. There he is, jumping. Nice. Good morning, honey. Nice. That was a pretty cool bite. 
Good job. Thank you, sir. So what are we, 20 minutes fishing? We got two sailfish in a boat? Yeah. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Rodan. Set it. Forget it. Catch more fish. Fish Bites and Fish Bites Fight Club Lures. Bahio Sunglasses. Fresh eyes for a rich life. Pen. Let the battle begin. And Startron. Start, run, store with Startron. Look at that, Greg. We were just talking about the tranquil seas of the Pacific, though, but I mean, this is just gorgeous. You get to see the fish and really enjoy the fish. Yep. And what I love is that we're talking about a two and a half hour flight from Miami to here. It couldn't have been any easier. The service, the ride through town was beautiful. I liked your little chicken joint. <laughs> yeah. That was a little nice stop. You gotta have a little food. Oh, the water is just gorgeous. So the captain said we're in about a thousand feet of water. Nice. Come up and jump. Come up. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Thank you oh, so much. Oh, what a pretty fish. Look at him there. Look at his look at him, Greg. He's lighting back up now. He's getting he's getting back blue. You ready, Danny? Yeah. Okay. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Gregor, when it comes to mind when I'm sitting here waiting on this bite, is how how much conservation synergy that Sportsman Adventures, Starbright, and also Casa Vieja have. It's amazing all our messages align. Well, you know, talking to the Salazars last night from Casa Vieja and realizing that they do turtles. The plastic ties in with our, you know, our do-gooder campaign. Um, I agree. We, we're all aligned with CCA. We're out here doing dolphin tagging studies, and I think that's some of the fun of what we get to do. Yep. Joking with the guys last night, you know, that this has worked for us. It's a, not a bad job, huh? No. If this is a bad job, then you just need to go ahead and check out. Because... Lucky the Irish again, huh? Sometimes it works out. Exactly. No, I'll tell you, that's one of the impressive things I've really I've really found about Casa Vieja is they are about lip service for their conservation. They live and breathe it. Yeah. I mean, they were the ones to really push the plastic initiative and getting all the bottled water out of the boats. And now they, when you show up at the lodge, they give you a customized Yeti with your name on it, your boat's name, whatever it may be. And that way, there's not water bottles that are in the boat. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Power Pole, Total Boat Control, Fenwick, Feel Everything, Murphy's Law Sport Fishing. Book your trip today at murphyslawsportfishing.com, Berkeley Prospect Chrome, and Island Lures Tournament Tackle.
So guys, check this out. This is the boss at Casa Vieja Lodge, Kristen Salazar. And she was able to go ride with us today, Greg and I. And you know what? It's so wonderful to be back in Guatemala with you guys. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for coming out to play in this paradise we have here. Sailfish, mahi, marlin. What more do you want? But you mentioned all the species, mahi. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons why you and I are together is we're trying to capture a mahi over 40 inches, 44 inches or so. Right. And you guys have a tagging Tag program right. that you've been involved in. Uh -huh. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that? So we're working with the Dolphin Tag Research Program, tagging those fish, providing the data, the coordinates, the length back to the scientists so they can evaluate it. I love what they're doing. What they're doing is providing and learning more about this ocean, this side of the hemisphere, which we don't have that data. So we need to start collecting that data because at the end, at the end of the day, when we can't get a sailfish, when we can't get a marlin, the mahi's the one that comes in and saves the day. Right. Everyone's happy with a big monster mahi. So we're trying to do everything we can to help support that program. Here's their tagging kit, but they also are here to, we're gonna try to tag some, some uh, mahis with satellite tags. So you guys will have to stay tuned. Hopefully we catch that fish that we're looking for and we can put a satellite tag in that fish. And if not, we'll certainly tag some of these fish with ribbons yeah. after we get what we need for our lunch. Sounds good. Cause there's nothing like a fresh mahi sandwich right here on the Pica Mas or any one of the Casa Vieja boats. Yes. Having a hot sandwich that from a fish that you caught earlier that morning. Right on the plate. Yeah. Awesome. My name is Wesley Merton. I run the Dolphin Fish Research Program, which is an international tagging program for dolphin fish, also known as mahi, mahi mahi, dolphin, or dorado. And so the Dolphin Fish Research Program is an angler-driven international tagging program for the species. And I guide angler participation and tag distribution. And anglers collect the data for us, they submit the data back to me, and then we use that data to study the biology, ecology, and catch patterns of the species. Boy, that's a big mahi there, Gregor. So the tagging process varies between boats, but when I'm on the boat, we use a cradling a system. More, and so the cradle is about four feet long, and it, it's a perfect uh, apparatus to, to bring in the fish into the actual cradle, bring it on board the boat so that we can work on the fish in the boat with water in the cradle uh, that you know right. gives you know, adequate exactly water like to the fish so the gills are you know, aerated with water. Right and we then you know, take a measurement, we tag the fish, we pull off the hook, um, and if we sat tag it, then you know, that's when we work on the fish to put the satellite tag on, and then get the fish back in the water as quickly as possible, and that's when I, I dive with the fish and revive it in the water. Um, basically, I, I move the cradle back and forth a couple times in the water to really get the fish kind of swimming again, actually in the cradle, and then I just kind of drop the, drop the canvas and the fish sees light, and it typically just darts away. Um, so we find this to be an effective way of tagging dolphin fish because it's, you know, it's a prey species, so it's, it's a common prey for so many predators in the ocean. And the thread through method really buttons the tag to the fish um, so that any of those really fast jaunts in the water, the tag is secure, it's not gonna shed. And we're getting good tag longevity with the deployment. So we've had tags stay on the fish for 180 days, for 90 days, and for other like shorter preset monitoring periods like 30 and 10 days. And so the outcome is really to, to gather data with anglers and feed that into the fishery science that we do and the science of the species, and then that can inform fisheries management and also can help conserve the species. Uh, you know, with the population growing around the world, uh, Dorado is a prime protein source for the, the, the global population. And so we want to conserve this resource for future generations. Of course, one of the reasons to understand the dolphin species is to catch and eat that delicious meat. Casa Vieja Lodge has adopted the traditional Japanese method of ikejime to preserve the quality of the meat after the fish is caught. It typically includes inserting a thin wire along the spinal column to destroy the nerves. This prevents the buildup of lactic acid and other metabolic byproducts that can occur if the fish dies slowly or is left to suffocate. The benefits of ikejime are numerous, particularly when it comes to the taste, texture, and shelf life of the fish. 
Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Ameritrail. Load, launch, relax. Berkeley, your fish, our science. Maverick Boat Group, makers of premium boat brands. Maverick, Hughes, Pathfinder, and Cobia. The American Fishing Tackle Company. Any fish, any water. Heroes on the water. Paddle, fish, heel. And the Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are. Look at him go there, Greggy. He ate his oatmeal this morning. Yeah, he did. Look at him coming here. We got a fight. Double! All right. Good job. Thank you, Daniel. He's reeling it in. It feels a little ticky tick. Oh, these are giants, Ricky. Yeah, man. Look at that one. There's my fishy. There he is. Go under. Wow. How you doing over there? Doing good. Whoa, you gotta think? stay limber. Yeah, man. So, Greg, there's a great example of having world-class mates and captains here at Casa Vieja. He, we were clearing the cockpit, getting ready to chase your fish down, and Daniel felt just a little tick on the line, and it was this fish. Most people just reel it in so fast, he was fishing the bait back. You know what I mean? Yeah. And got a bite, and you wouldn't even know that he had a bite. I guess they're traveling in wolf packs. Oh, yeah. No, Sometimes. I'm impressed. These guys, the boats are beautiful. They're well maintained. Being a Starbright guy, you know, I got to look and see if the boats are clean or not. Of course. Now, speaking of Starbright, you see all this teak on all of these boats. You guys make a full lineup of products for teak? Everything. And what's interesting, they were explaining to me, they have a unique issue here in Guatemala with all the volcanoes. Yeah. So we're dealing with black ash all the time. So we love that as cleaning guys. Right. You got to work hard to make these boats look good. Right. This uh, is... Teak has always been one of the one of the founding products of Starbright. Yeah. It's a shame that there's not more teak on boats today because it's just such a beautiful surface. Yeah. And it requires a lot of maintenance. So we love that. God, that's a giant. How about it? Gorgeous. Oh, there you go. This guy wants to be famous. Thank you. All right, two doubles. Let's hear it for the Irish kid, baby. I'm over here cheering you on while I'm enjoying my five-star lunch. How about that, man? You're in the Pacific Ocean with a hot lunch 30 miles offshore. Comes with yeah, its own. And a hot sailfish. Yeah, and its own release flag. Isn't that cool? Oh, they do it right here, Rick. Cheeseburger, Cheeseburger chicken pass. sandwich, mahi sandwich. Ooh. You're doing good, bub. Doing good. Oh, here he goes. There you go. Oh, look go. at that. Go, bub. Look at that. Get him, Gregor. We got five bucks on who gets in first. We're coming after you. OK. Mine's right here. OK. I got leader. What'd you say to that fish? You get him? <laughs> oh, Gordon. Oh, look at that. Look at the purple light up. You gotta get him Coming back your way, go buddy. <clears throat> nice.
Look at him go. All right. I'm ready, Thank Cap. You, sir. Yeah, getting ready to jump. He's out there on the surface. Yeah, he's coming up. He's out there oh, windshield wiping there, right yeah, now. Look at that. You know, they're so good about conservation here. If you come to Guatemala, don't think you're going to kill one because they don't kill any billfish, marlin, or sailfish. There's plenty of mahis and plenty but of yellowfins. Even, even the rig, when the, you can see they're cutting it on the other side of the swivel and leaving nothing but six inches a liter out of its mouth. Correct. I've been watching every one of these as we swim away, and I mean, they're in good shape. Yep. I guess you get these places that learn conservation early, and that's why the fishing is still amazing. Huh? Yep, yep. Oh, he's a little a short jaw. bill. Yeah, a short bill. Yeah. yeah. He must be an Irish sailfish. <laughs> yeah, for sure. At the end of each day, the lodge puts up the totals for each boat. And if you ever fished at Casa Vieja Lodge, you know that the day is packed. And with all of that action comes an appetite, which can only be satisfied with a gourmet dinner. Nothing beats Casa Vieja Lodge with almost 20,000 billfish raised in 2023. Imagine what it would be like to add those numbers in the years to come. Keep up with the latest at Sportsman's Adventures by logging into our website at sportsmansadventures.com and follow us on Facebook, X, Instagram, and YouTube.